Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to This Is Cooking with Mafia. Today, I will be preparing pulled pork sandwiches and also making some baked macaroni. So let's see what we have on deck here. We have our picnic pork shoulder right there. We have our sandwich bread. The only seasoning I will be using are the garlic cloves, the adobo, sasson. We have our elbow macaroni in the back there. And we have our various cheeses here. Those are sharp cheddar. The gold one is a baby Swiss. And the red is also a baby Swiss. We have our extra sharp cheddar, mozzarella and provolone, and our six cheese uh, Italian. There we go. And as always, let's get the cooking, baby, baby. Okay, let's get started on this pulled pork. Now, depending on your seasoning preference, you may want to use a different type of seasoning or you can go with what I'm using. We're just going to add the sasson first. I'm going to use a whole packet. There we go. And gonna hit it with the adobo. There we go. There we go. Nice, generous helping. Now I am gonna spread this all around. So give me one moment to do that, and we will cut up the garlic to stuff inside. Okay, now that that's seasoned up, and we rubbed it in. I made a few holes with our knife. We're gonna put a couple of these garlic cloves inside of here there we go just to give it a nice flavor as it cooks i'm gonna continue to do that and then we are gonna flip it over season and do the same thing okay we have seasoned and we cut up the fatty part and stuffed it with some garlic give you guys a nice little shot of that there we go very nice a uh, boom 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 I'm going to put that in the oven. Now, normally, I would let this cook between four and six hours, but we are a little pressed for time, so we're going to go 400 at about two hours. I'm going to check it constantly to see if I need to cook it a little more, a little less, and we'll get started on that baked macaroni and cheese. Okay, I've started on the cheese. I've shredded two already we have one more there we have half of that one left and we have a special guest chef angie in the house and she will be walking us through the process say hi what's up what's up yeah <laughs> all right so i'm gonna finish chopping this up and she will be walking us through the rest of the process like i said so stay tuned Okay, before we get started on the mac and cheese, I just wanted to show you that our penne is done or pork shoulder. We're going to just pull that apart real quick. There we go. The bone is right there. Look at that. Nice and juicy and delicious. And now, once we finish this up, we're going to start on that mac and cheese. Okay, the noodles are done. So, go ahead, Ange. Put them in a pan and make sure they're really, really hot because you got to stir and stir and stir all the cheese. Okay. Now that she did that part, we're going to go for the cheese. Okay. I'm just trying to take it here. My hands are clean. This is Cracker Barrel cheese. It's a bunch of different cheeses. You have um, sharp cheddar, extra sharp cheddar, white. It was like two sharp cheddars. So you just and one it. baby Swiss. Okay, you added that too. So you're gonna sprinkle it, sprinkle it, and then you're just gonna start stirring. You gotta make sure you do it quick because you gotta do it while the noodles are still hot. Okay, now that you've incorporated all the cheese, what is the next step? Okay, you got two eggs scrambled. We're just gonna drizzle it over, all around. Okay, uh, very nice. Uh, boom, boom, boom. So annoying. Then you want to, I know I'm annoying. <laughs> and then you incorporate that in. Just mix it up, mix it up, mix it all in. All right. 
All right, now that the eggs are incorporated with the cheese and the noodles. And you're gonna take a can of carnation milk and drizzle it all over the whole can. This is gonna hold the mac and cheese together, make it solid once it's baking. Okay, very good. Okay, all the ingredients have been incorporated. She's just layering it up with the rest of the cheese. She's going to pop that in the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour? Yeah. Okay. You cover it with aluminum foil first. Of course. Make sure you do that. You cover it with aluminum foil. And let me just give you guys a quick shot of the pulled pork. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is collard greens and neck bones she is also making. So we're going to pop that in the oven. And I'll see you guys in 45 minutes. Okay, our baked macaroni and cheese is done. Look at that, very nice. I already preheated the pulled pork. Just gonna put that right there real quick. I'm gonna grab my tongs and we are going to add some of this to it. There we go, a nice generous helping. There we go. I'm gonna add some of the baby Swiss cheese that was left over and I'm gonna hook up our plate and the final results will be coming right up and here is our final result so this is cooking with mafia we have our pulled pork sandwich with our baby Swiss got a little of the fatty hard part there our baked macaroni and cheese I just added a little more of the baby Swiss on top of that too got my drink as always, thank you for watching. It is greatly appreciated. Please go support the Dr. Huge Show, the Geeking Out Network podcast, the big homie Bobby Simmons. And on behalf of myself and my co-hosts, please have a good night. Have a safe night. Peace, everybody. Nummy num delicious.